Hundreds of New Yorkers rally in Manhattan's Foley Square, following a bombshell report by Politico, releasing a U.S. Supreme Court draft opinion appearing to overturn Roe versus Wade this summer. Every human being deserves the right to make decisions for their own body, their own health, their just their overall well-being. I think it's important that we stand up for other people's rights as well and, and listen to uh, listen to women. Uh, I don't think we have listened to women in our government for a very, very long time. Now, certain states like New York and New Jersey have enacted laws legalizing abortion and may hold against this ruling. But residents are still outraged by the leak. There's no way that you can safely ban abortions. It's going to happen no matter what legislation is. Um, but whether it happens safely and with human lives in mind is, is what's that question, I think. In Washington, crowds gathered outside of the Supreme Court last night and into Tuesday. Overturning Roe v. Wade would not make abortion illegal overall. It would pave the way for individual states to pass their own laws. President Biden reinstating his commitment to a woman's right to choose, but it will fall on all levels of government. It concerns me a great deal that we're going to, after 50 years, decide a woman does not have a right to choose. But even more, equally as profound, is the rationale used. Right? And it would mean that every other decision relating to the notion of privacy is thrown into question. And then it's also deeply saddening because you think about the communities of women and women identifying people who are in these red states where I'm in New York. I probably at the end of the day, I will be fine. People in California, we will be fine. We need to fight for those voices that aren't being heard, who don't have access.